we're going to listen to a book that's all about safe distancing, so social distancing and viruses. It's called A Little Spot Stays Home, a story about viruses and safe distancing. It's written and illustrated by Diane Alber. So we'll hear a couple of her books throughout this video. Hi, I'm a little spot. I'm safety spot. I'm here to help you to stay safe when a virus starts spreading too fast and gets a lot of people very sick. What's a virus? Hmm, do you know what a virus is? Viruses are tiny particles that can make you ill. They are so small that you can only see them with a microscope. That's a microscope. The particles are also known as germs. These germs look to love to stick to your hands, doorknobs, cardboard boxes, and toys. That's why we disinfect surfaces like countertops and objects. We'll kind of see what those germs look like. Hmm. A virus can move from an object like a doorknob to your hand. Once it's on your hand, it can enter your body when you touch your eyes, nose, and mouth to make you sick. So think, eyes, nose, and mouth. Use soap. Wash your hands really well for at least 20 seconds. That's like singing the birthday song twice or the alphabet. That's why it's so important to wash your hands to clean off the germs before you eat, after you go to the bathroom, and after you're done playing. When a virus enters your body, you can start to have symptoms. Symptoms don't make you feel very good. They can be a fever, which is like when your head gets really, really hot, a cough, and a sore throat. People can spread a virus more when they have symptoms too because germs come out of their nose and their mouth when they sneeze and cough. So a sore throat, this little boy showing a sore throat, this girl's showing a cough, and you can see this boy has a fever because his thermometer's in his mouth and his face looks really red. If you become sick, you should stay home or go to the doctor, which can help prevent others from getting ill. If you're having symptoms, wearing a mask is a great way to prevent the virus from spreading. This also shows you are being kind to others by not wanting to spread germs to others. It is also healthy wearing a mask if you're healthy to wear a mask can protect you if you're around someone who is coughing and sneezing. That can help keep you safe too. When someone is sick or sneezes, germs can spread from their nose or mouth up to six feet. So for everyone, a safe distance is six feet away, which is the length of your bed. So that's a good image to think about. So a safe distance equals six feet. Your bed also equals six feet. That's a good visual to think about. Some viruses can be very contagious and others can, can cause an outbreak. That's kind of what we're in right now with COVID. When this happens, older adults like grandmas and grandpas, as well as people with low or compromised immune systems can get sick very easily and it can be very harmful. We need to be responsible and help protect them. We can do this by washing and limiting washing our hands and limiting contact with others by seeking a safe distance. So this is a cool diagram that kind of explains this. One person could be in contact with two people, but that one person is in contact with three people and those people are in contact with all those people. And that's just one side of this. When we look at the other side, it's kind of looking at the same thing. So protecting ourselves is also protecting all these other people, very important. During an outbreak, it is, if safe, distancing doesn't slow down the virus very fast, everyone will need to stay home, which is something we experienced this last March. This means no parties or seeing friends or extended family. Schools are even closed. You remember when school was closed? And that can happen too, and that's called a stay-at-home order. When everyone stays home, doctors have time to find out more information about the virus and prepare for patients that it might come in. It also helps to find the treatment that could help before the virus hurts a lot of people. When we need, when we need to stay at home, can we leave our house? That's a really good question. Great question. You could go for a walk with your immediate family. So that's like your 
people that live in the house with you, um, as long as you stay at a safe distance, remember safe distance is that length of the bed from others. People can also leave their homes if absolutely necessary to get food, go to the doctor, or even if their job is considered essential. So what are essential workers? Essential workers need to be at work to help keep us safe. So they help treat sick people, deliver and stock important items. These people are doctors, nurses, police officers, grocery store workers, and delivery workers, just to name a few. We should be thankful for all these people who have the courage to go to work every single day. Staying at home will require a lot of patience and support for each other too. It can also be a great time to spread kindness by thanking all the people who help keep us safe. By the little sign that the boy drew says, thank you essential workers. And he looks like he put it right in front of his house. There may be times when we feel sad that you can't see your friends and family, but there is ways to connect with them. You can video chat them, you can call them on the telephone, or you can even write them a letter and send it through the mail. You can even decorate the envelope and include some artwork too. This time can be difficult for a lot of us and getting a letter in the mail can brighten someone's day. We're gonna do some handwriting that we might send off to our friends in this class too, so that'll be something fun. Since school buildings may be closed, you'll have to learn as much as you can at home, and that can be fun too. You can learn math by measuring ingredients while baking, mm -hmm. or by sorting clothes, counting shirts, and matching socks too. Cool. You can learn a new skill, like bike riding, or spend extra time in, with your immediate family, so that's who lives in the house with you. It can inspire you to be creative. Maybe you have built a, a fun um, secret hideaway or encourage you to organize and tackle new projects. So maybe organizing is something you did. Hopefully I was able to help you understand more about viruses and why people need to keep a safe distance and stay at home. It's important to keep a positive outlook and remember that viruses don't last forever if we work together, things will get better. So that's a pretty good book. Something fun that I want you to do is you're going to write a couple of sentences about something that you love to do at home. So we're going to make that our writing today. So something you love to do at home. I want you to think about that. And then once you have your idea, oh, I know what I'm going to write about. I want you to write down a couple of sentences about that thing. Good luck.